Who are you? What? You are bonkers. Why? What's wrong with Blue? Is that what Time Lords do? Lop a bit off, grow another one? You like worms. <laughs> Back of the neck. It's like the old days. Just me and the Doctor. Oh my God, they're growing! <laughs> Faster, I Oh! 
far. Extruding them through a flat hydrogen base, so they've got the end result. Huon particles in liquid form. And that's what's inside me. Oh my god! Genius. Because the particles are inert, they need something living to catalyze inside, and that's you. Saturate the body and then. Ha! Ah! The wedding! Yes, you're getting married! That's it! Best day of your life, walking down the aisle. Oh, your body's a battleground! It's a chemical war inside! Adrenaline, acetylcholine, wham! Go the endorphins! Oh, you're cooking! Yeah, you're like a walking oven, a pressure cooker, a microwave, all churning away! The particles reach boiling point, shazam! What did I do this time? Are you enjoying this? Right, just tell me. These particles. Are they dangerous? Am I safe? Yes. Doctor. If your lot got rid of human particles, why did they do that? Because they were deadly. Oh, my God. I'll sort it out, don't I? Whatever's been done to you, I'll reverse it. I am not about to lose someone else. <laughs> oh, she is long since lost. Hibernating at the edge of the universe until the secret heart was uncovered and called out to waken me. Someone's been digging. Oh, very tortured. Drilled by laser. Far down as it goes. Down. All the way to the center of the earth. Really? Seriously, what for? Dinosaurs. What? Dinosaurs? What are you on about dinosaurs? That film under the earth with dinosaurs. Trying to help. That's not helping. Such a sweet couple. Only a madman talks to thin air. And trust me, you don't want to make me mad. Where are you? High in the sky. Floating so high. On Christmas night. I didn't come all this way to talk. I'm here to come. Come on, let's have a look at you. Who are you with such command? I'm the doctor. Prepare your best medicines, doctor man. For you will be sick at heart. It's impossible, you're one of the Ragnos. Empress of the Ragnos. You're the Empress, where's the rest of the Ragnos? Or are you the only one? Such a sharp mind. That's it, the last of your kind. The Ragnos come from the dark times, billions of years ago. Billions, they were carnivores, omnivores. They devoured whole planets. Ragnos are born starving. Is that our fault? <laughs> they eat people. H.C. Clements, did he wear those, those, um, black and white shoes? He did. We used to laugh. We used to call him the fat cat in spats. <laughs> You've arrived. Want to see? I suppose. Hold on, scanners, if it's small. Maybe you're always best. Come on. No human's ever seen this. You'll be the first. All I want to see is my bed. Donna Noble, welcome to the creation of the Earth. We've gone back 4.6 billion years. There's no solar system, not yet. Only dust and rocks and gas. That's the sun. Over there, brand new. Just beginning to burn. Where's the Earth? Around us, in the dust.
puts the wedding in perspective. Lance was right, we're just... tiny. No, but that's what you do. The human race. Makes sense out of chaos. Marking it out with... weddings and Christmas and calendars. This whole process is beautiful, but only if it's being observed. So I came out of all this. Brilliant. Oh, I think that's the Isle of Wight. <laughs> Eventually, gravity takes hold. Say, one big rock, heavier than the other, starts to pull other rocks towards it. All the dust and gas and elements get pulled in, everything piling in until you get... The Earth. But the question is, what was that first rock? Look. Arachnos. Now I have measured the bride's catalysis. I can force feed it. Break the particles. Become the key. Hello. Arachnos are hiding from the war. What's it doing? Exactly what you said. Just bury something in the center of the earth. They became the center of the earth. The first rock. What was that? Trouble. My golden couple. Together at last, your awful wedded life. <laughs> Tell me, do you want to be released? Yes! You're supposed to say, I do! Oh. No chance. Say it! I do. I do! I don't! <laughs> Activate the particles! Purge every last one! And release! The secret heart unlocks... And they will waken from their sleep of ages. Oh, well. What's down there? How thick are you? My children, the long-lost Rachnos, now reborn to feast on flesh. The witch star shall come to me. My babies will be hungry. They need sustenance. Perish the web. Use her! Not me! Use her! Oh, my funny little lads. <laughs> but you were quite impolite to your lady friend. The Empress does not approve. <laughs> Take aim! And 
What did you do? Guess what I've got, Donna? Pockets. How did that fit in there? They're bigger on the inside. Robot forms are not necessary. My children may feast on Martian flesh. Oh, but I'm not from Mars. Then where? My home planet is far away and long since gone. But his name lives on. Gallifrey. <laughs> I warned you. You did this. No! No! Don't! No! 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 Oh, it's a beautifully fat country. And believe me, I've travelled a long way to find obesity on this scale. So come on then, Miss Foster. Those pills, what are they? Well, you might as well have a scoop, since you'll never see it printed. This is the spark of life. And what's that supposed to mean? Officially, the capsule attracts all the fat cells and flushes them away. Well, it certainly attracts them, that part's true. But it binds the fat together and galvanizes it to form a body. Well, what do you mean? A body? Yeah, I'm surprised you never asked about my name. I chose it well. Foster. As in foster mother. And these... are my children. Are you kidding me? I don't... What the hell is that? Adipose. It's called an adipose. Made out of living fat. I 
Interrupting you. Get up. And him. Blow up. They're just children, they can't know where they came from. Oh, well, that makes a change from last time. That Martha must have done you good. Ah, she did, yeah. Yeah. She did. She fancied me. Mad Martha, that one. Blind Martha. Charity Martha. Fat. Oh, she has a diet plan. It sort of works. There she is! Rachel Cophelia! Listen to me! Oh, I don't think so, Doctor. And if I never see you again, it'll be too soon. Oh, why does no one ever listen? I'm trying to help! Just get across to the roof! Can you shift the levitation beam? What? 
Said that you can arrest me. Just listen, I saw the Adiposian instructions. They know it's a crime. Breeding on Earth. So what's the one thing they want to get rid of? Their accomplice. I'm far more than that. I'm nanny to all these children. Exactly! Mum and Dad have got the kids now, they don't need the nanny anymore. <laughs> Says dirty for it, that big chap. Who'd you sell it to? Oh, Kai Killius. Look, if you want to argue, why don't you take it out with him? It's on Foss Street. Big Bella. Go on, Missy. Thanks. What's he buy a big blue wooden box for? Modern art. Out of the way. That's it. Oh, Rhombus, I'm a little bit picky. Just get me some ants and honey. There's a good lad. Ooh, maybe a dormouse. What do you think? You call it modern art? I call it a blooming great waste of space. But we're going up in the world, my love. Lucy is dexterous himself has come to the house this afternoon. What with that and our Evelina about to be elevated? Oh, don't go on about it, Dad. If we'd moved to Rome, like I said, she could have been a Vestal Virgin. Someone mentioned Vestal Virgins? Quintus, don't be so rude. You apologize to the household gods. Get off. Apologize right now. The gods are always watching. Now you've made the heavens angry. Just say sorry. I tell you, Caecilius, that boy will come to no good. Sorry, household gods. So where were you last night? Down the Thermopolium, I bet. Cavorting with Etruscans and Christians and all sorts. How's your head, sunshine? How's your head? Why, Dad, give us a break. You want to smarten yourself up, Quintus, before Lucius Dextrous gets here. Look at your sister. She's giving us status. Oh, yeah, because it's all about Evelina. She has the gift. We're proud of your sister for once. Have you been consuming? Not this morning. Come on, sweetheart. Practice. It's hot today. The hypercost is on full blast. The mountain god must be happy. Breathe deeply. Remember what the sisterhood said. Oh, it hurts. Oh, my love, is it too hot? Sometimes in the smoke, I see the most terrible things. Like what? A face. A face of stone. It'll make sense. One day, Sister Sparina promised, the veil will be parted and you'll be a seer.
yourselves in a lava? In a lava? No. no. But if I might beg the wisdom of the gods before we perish, once this new race of creatures is complete, then what? My masters will follow the example of Rome itself, an almighty empire, bestriding the whole of civilization. Myth, you've crashed! And you've got all this technology! Why don't you just go home? The heaven of Pyrovilia is gone. What do you mean gone? Where's it gone? It was taken! Pyrovilia is lost! But there is heat enough in this world! for a new species to rise. Yeah, I should warn you, it's 70% water out there. Water can boil, and everything will burn, Doctor! Then the whole planet is at stake. Thank you. That's all I needed to know. But... You have them, my lords! Could we be any more traps? Converter takes the lava, uses the power to create a fusion matrix that swells Pyroval to human. Now it's complete, they can convert millions. Well, can't you change it with these controls? Of course I can, but don't you see? That's why the soothsayers can't see the volcano. There is no volcano. Vesuvius is never going to erupt. Pyroval is stealing all his power. They're going to use it to take over the world. But you can change it back. I can invert the system, set off the volcano and blow them up, yes, but... That's a choice, Donna. It's Pompeii or the world. Oh, my God. If Pompeii is destroyed, then it's not just history. It's me. I make it happen. Vesuvius is burned with a force of 24 nuclear bombs. Nothing can survive it. Certainly not that. Never mind us. Push this lever and it's over. 20,000 people. Amygdala and humans have processed its memory and emotions. You get rid of that, you wouldn't be Donna anymore. You'd be like an ood, a processed ood. So the company cuts off their brains. And they stitch on the translator. Like a lobotomy. I spent all that time looking for you, Doctor, because I thought it would be so wonderful out here. I want to go home. Why don't you just come out and say it? Photo activists. If that's what friends of the Ood are trying to prove, then yes. The Ood were nothing without us, just animals roaming around on the ice. That's because you can't hear them. They welcomed it. It's not as if they put up a fight. You idiot. They're born with their brains in their hands. Don't you see? That makes them peaceful. They've got to be, because a creature like that would have to trust anyone it meets. Oh, nice one. Thank you. The system's worked for 200 years. All we've got is a rogue batch. But the infection is about to be sterilized. Mr. Kess, how do we stand? Canisters prime, sir. As soon as the core heats up, the gas is released. Give it 200 marks. OK. 
count them. You're gonna gas them! Kill the livestock. The classic foot and mouth solution from the olden days. Still works. <laughs> I've never shot anyone before. Can't say I'm gonna like it. But uh, it's not exactly a normal day, is it? Still. Would you like a drink, sir? <laughs> I think hair loss is the least of my problems right now. Thanks. Please have a drink, sir. If... If you're gonna stand in their way, I'll shoot you too. Please have a drink, sir. Natural oud must never kill, sir. What is that stuff? Oud graft suspended in a biological compound, sir. What the hell does that mean? Oh, dear. Tell me! The only thing the subconscious takes all sorts of shapes. Came out in the red eyes revenge, came out in the rabid oud as anger, and then there was patience. <sighs> all that intelligence and mercy focused on oud sigma. <laughs> How's our hair loss, Mr. Halpin? What have you done? Oh, they've been preparing you for a very long time. And now you're standing next to the new brain. Mr. Halpin, can you hear it? Listen. What have you... I'm... No! He 
has become Ood kind, and we will take care of him. It's weird. Being with you, I can't tell what's right and what's wrong anymore. It's better that way. People who know for certain tend to be like Mr. Holcomb. Oh! That's better. And now! Sigma, would you allow me the honor? It is yours, Doctor. Oh, yes! Stifled for 200 years, but not anymore. The circle is broken. The Ood can sing! <laughs> Secret weapon. And what's that? You. Oh, Summer, that's not making me happy. Can't you just zap us down to Earth with that remote thing? Yeah, I haven't got a remote, though. I'm really sure that I need you on our ship. That's why I made them with the TARDIS. I'm sorry, but you've got to go outside. But there's Sontarans out there. Sontarans, but they'll be on battle stations right now. They're always out there walk about having coffee. I can talk you through it. But what if they find me? I know, and I wouldn't ask, but there is nothing else I can do. The whole planet is choking, Donna. What do you need me to do? The Sontarans are inside the factory, which means they're going to teleport link with the ship and then have deadlocked it. I need you to reopen the link. Oh, I can't even mend a fuse. Donna, stop talking about yourself like that. You can do this, I promise. There's a Sontaran. Sontaran. Did he see you? No, he's on his back to me. Right, Donna, listen, on the back of his neck on his collar, there's a sort of plug, like a hole, the probic vent. One blow to the probic vent knocks him out. But he's going to kill me. I'm sorry, I swear, I'm so sorry, but you've got to try. Teleport systems have been deadlocked open. No matter. 
Increase the Atmos devices to maximum. Choke them. Behold, the clone world is born. Promise me a new world. You will build the equipment ready to terraform El Mondo Luco so that humans could live there and breathe the air with this an atmospheric converter. Prepare to launch clone pods. We will breed across the surface of the Earth for the glory of Santa. London. You can't even see it. My family's in there. You get this on the right setting. Doctor, hold on. You said the atmosphere would ignite. Yeah, it did, didn't I? <laughs> We're safe. Look at their hands. They're clean. All right, process them. Confessed. Oi! Oi! What was clean hands? What's going on? Oh. Leave them alone! Someone tells me this isn't about to check my blood pressure. Ah! What are you doing to him? Everyone gets processed. Oh, it's taking a tissue sample. Ow, 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 ow. I'm extrapolating here. Some kind of accelerator? Arm yourself. Where did she come from? 
from me. From you? How? Who is she? Well, she's... Well... She's my daughter. Hello, Dad. Shit. It's a hidden tunnel. That must be a control panel. It's another one of those numbers. They're everywhere. The original builders must have left them. I'm old cataloging system. You've got a pen, a bit of paper. Because, do you see, the numbers are counting down. This one ends in 1-4. The prison cell said 1-6. Always thinking, both of you. Who are you people? I told you I'm the doctor. The doctor. That's it. That's all he ever says. So you don't have a name either? Are you an anomaly too? No. Oh, come off it. You're the most anomalous bloke I've ever met. Here it is. And Time Lords, what are they for exactly? Four? They're not... They're not four in any. So what do you do? I travel through time and space. He saves planets, rescues civilizations, defeats terrible creatures, and runs a lot. Seriously, there's an outrageous amount of running involved. Great! Spot point with me! Now, what were we saying about running? <sighs> Not mood lighting, is it? No, I didn't think so. Army device. There's more of these. Always eight numbers, counting down the closer we get. Here we go. You better be quick, oh, oh, General. Where are you going? I can hold them up. No, we don't need any more dead. But it's them or us. It doesn't mean you have to kill them. I'm trying to save your life. Listen to me. Killing. After a while, it infects you. And once it does, you're never rid of it. But we don't have a choice. We always have a choice. I'm sorry. Jenny. Come here, Frank! This is all now! A soldier. She's trying to help. One of us is going to die today, and it won't be me. Mrs. Christie, I'm so glad you could come. I'm one of your greatest followers. I've read all six of your books. Uh, is uh, Mr. Christie not joining us? Is he needed? Can't a woman make her own way in the world? Uh, don't give my wife ideas. Now, Mrs. Christie, I have a question. Why a Belgian detective? Belgians make such lovely buns. <laughs> 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 I said, where on earth is Professor Peach? He'd love to meet Mrs. Christie. Said he was going to the library. Uh, Miss Chandrakala, would you go and collect the professor at once, Millie? The date on this newspaper. What about him? He 
it's the day Agatha Christie disappeared. Professor Peach! Professor? She just discovered her husband was having an affair. Never think to look at her. Smiling away. Well, she's British and moneyed. That's what they do. They carry on. Except for this one time. I would not notice exactly what happened. She just vanished. <laughs> Side of a lake. Ten days later, I get the Christie turns up at a hotel in Harrogate. Said she'd lost her memory. She never spoke about the disappearance till the day she died. But whatever it was, it's about to happen. Right here, right now. Professor, the library! He fell. Time of death was quarter past four. A bit of pipe. Call me Hercule Poirot, but I reckon that's blunt enough. Worth killing for when that old dry as dust. Hold on. The body in the library. I mean, Professor Peach in the library with the lead pipe. Let me see. Up to my way. Gerald! Please. Someone should call the police. You don't have to. Chief Inspector Smith from Scotland Yard, known as the Doctor. Miss Noble is the plucky young girl who helps me out. I see. Mrs. Christie was right. Go into the sitting room. I will question each of you in turn. Come along. Do as the doctor says. The plucky young girl who helps me out. No police women in 1926. I'll pluck you in a minute. Why don't we find the real police? Well, the last thing I want is PC blood sticking his nose in. Especially now I've found this. Morphic residue. Morphic? Murder as an alien. Which means one of that lot is an alien in human form. Yeah, but think about it. There's a murder, a mystery, and Agatha Christie. So, I'm still all the time. No, but isn't that a bit weird? Agatha Christie didn't walk around surrounded by murders. Not really. I mean, that's like meeting Charles Dickens and he's surrounded by ghosts at Christmas. Well... Oh, come on! It's not like we could drive across country and find Enid Blight and have him tea with Noddy. Could we? Noddy's not real. Is he? Tell me there's no Noddy. There's no Noddy. I wanted to take what was <laughs> mine. And you, Agatha Christie, with your railway station bookstore romances. <laughs> What's <laughs> to stop me killing you? Oh, my dear God. My child. What's <laughs> to stop me killing you? Oh! If my imagination made you kill, then my imagination will find a way to stop you, foul creature! Wait, now he's chasing us! Creature might die with me. 
Don't hurt her! You're not meant to be like this. You've got the wrong template in your mind. It's not listed. like his father. Donna, I think could know herself. Neither could I. Death comes as the end, and justice is served. Murder at the Vicar's Rage. Need a bit of work. Just one mystery left, Doctor. Who exactly are you? It's dying and it's connected to Agatha. <sighs> what to mind if everything that happened? The wasp, the murders. And us. She'll forget about us. Yeah, but we've solved another riddle. The mystery of Agatha Christie. And tomorrow morning, her car gets found by the side of a lake. A few days later, she turns up in a hotel in Harrogate with no idea of what just happened. No one will ever know. I'm gonna need a packed lunch. Hang on. What's in that book? Spoilers. Who are you? That's a river song, University of... To me. Who are you to me? Again. Spoilers. Chicken and a bit of salad. Knock yourself out. Right, you lot! Let's all meet the Vashta Narada. Darling, Dr. Moon is going now, but he'd like a word with you alone. Is that all right? Yes, of course, Dr. Moon. Thank you. Now, listen. This is important. There's the real world, and there's the world of nightmares. That's right, isn't it? You understand that? Yes, I know, Dr. Moon. What I want you to remember is this, and I know it's hard. The real world is a lie, and your nightmares are real. The library is real. There are people trapped in there, people who need to be saved. The shadows are moving again. Those people are depending on you. Only you can save them. Only you. You travel with him, don't you? The doctor, you travel with him. What of it? Proper Dave, could you move over a bit? Why? I would have another water cooler, thanks. You know him, don't you? Oh, God, do I know that man. We go way back, that man and me. Just not this far back. I'm sorry, what? He hasn't met me yet. I sent him a message, but it went wrong. It arrived too early. This is the doctor in the days before he knew me. And he looks at me. He looks right through me and it shouldn't kill me, but it does. What are you talking about? Are you just talking rubbish? Do you know him or don't you? Donna! Quiet. I'm working. Sorry. Donna. You're Donna. Donna Noble. Yeah. Why? I do know the doctor. But in the future. His personal future. Well, so why don't you know me? Where am I in the future? Okay, we've got a live one. That's not darkness down those tunnels. This is not a shadow. It's a swarm. An eating swarm. The piranhas of the air. The Vashta Narada. 
literally the shadows that melt the flesh. Most planets have them, but usually in small clusters. I've never seen an infestation on this scale, all this aggressive. What do you mean, most planets? Not Earth? Mm. Earth. A billion other worlds. Where well, there's mink, there's vast and Arana. You can see them sometimes if you know. The dust in sunbeams. If they were on Earth, we'd know. No. Normally they live on roadkill. Sometimes people go missing. Not everyone comes back out of the dark. Every shadow? No. But any shadow. So what do we do? Dalek, same for the ice dog. Sontarans, back of the neck. Vashti Narada. Run. Just run. It's dog! Stop there! Stop, stop, stop there! Stop moving! They're never just gone and they never give up. This one's benign. Hey, who turned out the lights? No one, they're fine. No, seriously, turn them back on. They are on. I can't see a ruddy thing. Dave, turn around. What's going on? Why can't I see? Is the power gone? Are we safe here? Dave, I want you to stay still. Absolutely still. Dave, 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 can you hear me? You want to talk to me, Dave? I'm fine. I'm OK, I'm, I'm fine. I want you to stay still, absolutely still. I'm fine. I'm OK, I'm, I'm fine. I can't... Why can't I? I... I can't... Why can't I? I... I can't... Why can't I? I... I... He's gone. He's ghosting. Um, why is he still standing? Hey, who turned out the lights? Hey, who turned out the lights? Doctor, don't. Dave, can you hear me? Hey, who turned out the lights? Who turned out the lights? Hey, who turned out the lights? Excuse me! suit but it's learning what do we do where do we go see that wall behind you Dinner's ready. Donna Noble has been saved. Sweetie? the power. Light doesn't stop them, but it slows them down. So, what's the plan? Do we have a plan? Your screwdriver. Looks exactly like mine. Yeah. You gave it to me. I don't give my screwdriver to anyone. I'm not anyone. Who are you? What's the plan? I teleported Donna back to the TARDIS. If we don't go back there in under five hours, emergency program one will activate. Take her home, yeah. We need to get a shift on. She's not there. I should have received a signal. The console signals me if there's a teleport breach. Well, maybe the coordinates have slipped. The equipment is ancient. Donna Noble! There's a Donna Noble somewhere in this library. Do you have the software to locate her position? Donna Noble has left the library. Donna Noble has been saved. Donna. <gasps> I'm sorry, she's been dead a while now. I told you to go! Lux can manage without me. But you can't. Auto-destruct in two minutes.
Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, what are you doing? That's my job. Well, and I'm not allowed to have a career, I suppose. Why am I handcuffed? Why do you even have handcuffs? Spoilers. This is not a joke. Stop this now. This is going to kill you. I have a chance. You don't have any. You wouldn't have a chance, and neither do I. I'm timing it for the end of the countdown. There'll be a blip in the command flow. That way it should improve our chances of a clean download. River, please, no. Funny thing is, this means you've always known how I was going to die. All the time we've been together, you knew I was coming here. The last time I saw you, the real you, the future you, I mean, you turned up on my doorstep with a new haircut and a suit. You took me to Derillium to see the singing towers. What a night that was. The towers sang, and you cried. Auto destruction. You wouldn't tell me why, but I suppose you knew it was time. My time. Time to come to the library. You even gave me your screwdriver. That should have been a clue. There's nothing you can do. You can let me do this! If you die here, it'll mean I've never met you. Time can be rewritten. Not those times. Not one line. Don't you dare. It's okay. It's okay. It's not over for you. You'll see me again. You've got all of that to come. You and me. Space. You watch us run. River, you know my name. Auto destruct in. You whispered my name in my ear. Nine. Eight. Seven. There's only one reason I would ever tell anyone my name. Five, There's only one time I could. Hush. Four, no. Three. Spoilers. Two. I don't know if it's not real. Nothing here is real. The whole world, everything, none of it's real. Am I real? Of course you're real. I know you're real. Oh, God. Oh, God. You're real. Look at that, he did it. 4,022 people saved. When you run with the doctor, it feels like it will never end. But however hard you try, you can't run forever. Everybody knows that everybody dies. And nobody knows it like the Doctor. But I do think that all the skies of all the worlds might just turn dark if he ever, for one moment, accepts it. Why? Why would I give him my screwdriver? Why would I do that? The thing is, future me years to think about it. All those years to think of a way to save her. And what he did was give her a screwdriver. Why would I do that? Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. I'm very good. What have you done? Saved her. Stay with me. You can do it. Stay with me. Come on. You and me. One more. Platform disabled. Everybody knows that everybody dies. But not 
every day. Not today. It's okay. You're safe. You'll always be safe here. The doctor fixed a data call. This is a good place now. But I was worried you might be lonely, so I brought you some friends. Aren't I clever girl? Aren't we all? Oh, for heaven's sake. He just can't do it, can he? That man. That impossible man. He just can't give in. Oh. <laughs> Some days are special. Some days are so, so blessed. Some days nobody dies at all. Every once in a very long while, every day in a million days when the wind stands fair and the doctor comes to call. Everybody lives. Oh, you're fascinating. I oh, know, but you're good. I can see a man. The most remarkable man. How did you meet him? You're supposed to tell me. I see the future. Tell me the past. When did your lives cross? It's sort of complicated. I ended up in his spaceship on my wedding day. Long story. But what led you to that meeting? All sorts of things. But my job, I suppose. It was on Earth. This planet called Earth, miles away. But I had this job as a temp. I was a secretary at a place called H.C. Clements. <sighs> Sorry. It's the incense. Just uh, breathe deep. This job of yours, what choices led you there? There was a choice, six months before. Because the agency offered me this contract with H.C. Clements. But there was this other job. My mum knew this man. Javal is good. Javal Chowdhury? He runs that little photocopy business, and he needs a secretary. I've got a job. As a temp, this is permanent. It's 20,000 a year, Donna. H.C. Clements is in the city. It's nice, it's posh, so stop it. Your life could have gone one way or the other. What made you decide? I just did. But when was the moment? When did you choose? It won't take long, just turn right. We'll pop in and see Mr. Chowdhury. This is it, can introduce you. I'm going left. If you don't like it, get out and walk. If you turn right, you'll have a career, not just filling in. You think I'm so useless? Oh, I know why you want a job with H.C. Clements, lady. Because you think you'll meet a man with lots of money and your whole life will change. Well, let me tell you, sweetheart, city executives don't need temps except for practice. Yeah. Well, they haven't met me. You turn the left. If you turned right, what then? Let go of my hands. 
What if it changes? What if you go right? What if you could still go right? Stop it! What's on my back? What is it? What's on my back? Make the choice again, Donna Noble, and change your mind. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Turn right. Well, let me tell you, sweetheart, city executives don't need temps except for practice. Yeah. Suppose you're right. Turn right. And never meet that man. Turn right. And change the world. in the city. It's nice, it's posh, so stop it. <laughs> it won't take long, just turn right. <gasps> I'm going left. If you don't like it, get out and walk. <gasps> You think I'm so useless? Oh, I know why you want a job with H.C. Clements, lady. Because you think you'll meet a man. Executives don't need temps except for practice. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Please. I'm not sitting in a traffic jam. I'm going left. I'm going left. 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 Left.
Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister. Yes, I know who you are. I thought it was about time we all met, given the current crisis. Torchwood, this is Sarah Jane Smith. I've been following your work. Nice job with the Slovene. Yeah, well, I've been staying away from you lot. Too many guns. All the same. Might I say, looking good, ma'am? Really? Ooh. Not now, Captain. And Martha Jones, former companion to the Doctor. Why, so was I. But how did you find me? This, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Subwave Network. A sentient piece of software programmed to seek out anyone and everyone who can help to contact the Doctor. What if the Daleks can hear us? No. That's the beauty of the Subwave. It's undetectable. Uh, and you invented it? I developed it. It was created by the Mr. Copper Foundation. Yeah, but what we need right now is a weapon. Martha Becker unit, what, what did they give you? What was that key thing? The Osterhagen key. That key is not to be used, Dr. Jones. Not under any circumstances. But what is an Osterhagen key? Forget about the key, and that's an order. All we need is the doctor. Oh, and excuse me, Harry, but... Well, the thing is, if you're looking for the doctor, didn't he depose you? He did. And I've wondered about that for a long time, whether I was wrong. But I stand by my actions to this day because I knew, I knew that one day the Earth would be in danger and the Doctor would fail to appear. I told him so myself and he didn't listen. But I've been trying to find him. The Doctor's got my phone on the TARDIS, but I can't get through. Nor me, and I was here first. That's why we need the subwave, to bring us all together. Combined forces, the Doctor's secret army. Wait a minute. We boost the signal, that's it. We transmit that telephone number through Torchwood itself using all the power of the Rift. And we've got Mr. Smith. He can link up with every telephone exchange on the Earth. He can get the whole world to call the same number all at the same time. Billions of phones calling out all at once. <laughs> Brilliant. Who's the kid? That's my son. Excuse me, sorry. Sorry, hello, Yanto Jones. Um, if we start transmitting, then this subwave network is going to become visible. I mean, to the Daleks. Yes. And they'll trace it back to me, but my life doesn't matter. Not if it saves the Earth. Mom. Thank you, Captain. But there are people out there dying, on the streets. Yeah, yeah. Marvelous woman. I voted for her. I didn't know. Now, enough of words. Let's begin. Rip power activated. Launch him as coordinated. Let's lock it online. Give him everything we've got. Connecting you to Mr. Smith. The telephone networks combined. Sending you the number now. Opening subway network to maximum. Mr. Smith, make that call. Calling the doctor. said they were taking the people. What for? Think, Doc, when you met Rose in that parallel world, what did she say? Just the darkness is coming. Anything else? Why don't you ask her yourself?
It's me, Milka. <laughs> Long time no see. Yeah. Been busy, you know. Don't die. Oh my God, don't die. Oh my God, don't die. Get him into the TARDIS, quick. Move. <laughs> They don't work against Daleks. Yeah, well, I'm going out fighting. Now go in, now Tosh. How about you? Yes, ma'am. What? what do we do? There must be some medicine or something. Just step back. Rose, do as I say and get back. He's dying, and you know what happens next. What do you mean? No, I can't go this way. What do you mean? What happens next? It's Do lop a bit off, grow another one. You like worms? No, 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 no. I'm unique. Never been another like me. Because all that regeneration energy went into the hand. Look at my hand. I love that hand. But then you touched it. Wow! <laughs> Instantaneous biological meta crisis. I grew out of you. Still could be worse. Oi, watch it, space man. Oi, watch it, Earth girl. Ooh. I don't know you. I don't know. What was that? Rough. Oi! 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 Spanish! Must have picked up a bit of your voice, that's all, is it? Did I? No. Oh, 
You are kidding me. No way. One heart. Oh, one heart. This body, I've got only one heart. Oh, that's disgusting. Oi! Oi! Stop it! No, wait. I'm part time lord, part human. Well, isn't that wizard? I kept hearing that noise. That heartbeat. Oh, that was me. My single heart. Because I'm a complicated event in time and space. Must have rippled back. Converging on you. But why me? Because you're special. Oh, I keep telling you, I'm not. No, but you are. You really don't believe that, do you? Even if I change, it feels like dying. Everything I am dies. Some new man goes sauntering away. And I'm dead. What? Sorry, but I had to. Look, can't you make her better? Stop it. No, but you're so clever. Can't you bring her memory back? Let me just go to her now. Go on, just run across the street. Go up and say hello. If she ever remembers me, her mind will burn and she will die. Don't you touch this car. <laughs> She's not changed. No. <laughs> oh, there he is. Sean Temple. They're engaged. Getting married in the spring. Another wedding? Yeah. Hold on, she's not going to be called Noble Temple. It sounds like a tourist spot. No, it's Temple Noble. Right. Is she happy? Is he nice? Yeah, he's sweet enough. He's a bit of a dreamer. Mind you, he's, he's on minimum wage. She's earning tuppence, so all they can afford is a tiny little flat. And then sometimes I see this look on her face, like she's so sad that she can't remember why. She's got heaven. She's making do. Aren't we all? Yeah, how about you? What have you got now? No one. Travelling alone. I thought it was better than. But I did some things, it went wrong. I need. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah, and you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us. <laughs> don't, you, don't you see? You, know, you need her, Doctor. I mean, Look, wouldn't she make you laugh again? Good old Donna.
I'm sorry, are you talking to me? Or to me? Or to me? Or to me? Or to, or to us? us? Breaking news. I'm everyone. And everyone in the world is me. I'm president. President of the United States. Look at me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Woo>. Come on. <laughs> Financial solution. <laughs> Deleted. <laughs> the human race was always your favorite, Doctor. But now, there is no human race. There is only the Master Race. <laughs> Have that on me. Smile! <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's a bill. Just what I need right now. A lottery ticket? What a cheap present! Who was that? Still, you never know. It's a trouble rollover this week. I might get lucky. Oi, Sean! Come on, we're on a tight schedule. I'll tell soup at 2.30. Missed it. Midnight. Mickey's going to be calling me everything. This is your fault. No, it's not. It's Jimbo. He said he was going to give us a lift, and then he said his axle broke. I can't help it. Get rid of him, Mum. He's useless. Listen to you with a mechanic. Be fair, though. My time of life, I'm not going to do much better. Don't be like that. Never know. There could be someone out there. Maybe. One day. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> Don't stay out all night. Try and stop me. You all right, mate? Yeah. Too much to drink? Something like that. Maybe it's time you went home. Yeah. Anyway, Happy New Year. And you. What year is this? Why me? How much have you had? 2005, January the 1st. 2005? Tell you what. I bet you're gonna have a really great year. Yeah? See ya. Court is now in session. Intercept teleport! What the hell are you doing? Silence in court! 
I'm invoking Shadow Proclamation Protocols 15, P, and 6. Under my jurisdiction, there will be no violence until such time as I deem it fit and proper. Is that understood? Now, Exhibit A, the tact. No scorch marks. Donna, can you confirm? Um, yes, um, no, nothing. We were hit by plasma bolts, but there isn't a mark. And that soldier in the street, he was unconscious, not dead. Exhibit B, those guns are stun guns. Is that correct? The guns apply a mild and harmless neural anesthetic. For the record, my name is Sergeant Zogroth. And I am Constable Zrieg. But the evil Roth warriors want to kill the meat. The only ones out to kill were the soldiers with the swirling eyes. So are they coming to hurt you, the me? Or save you? If I may speak. Address the court. The story of the meat is a tragic tale. Their planet basked in the light of a living sun. Until one terrible day, the sun went mad. A psychedelic sun. Its radiation mutated all of meat kind into cruel beasts who live for conquest. The eyes, that solar psychedelia. It renders them as maniacs. The Meep army captured the Galactic Council, beheaded them, and ate them. The Roth warriors were summoned, and we fought across the stars a long and awful battle. Meepkind died rather than surrender, and now only this one survives. Their leader, the most cruel and despicable of all. Meep! Meep! Now, let's be fair. It's your turn, the Meep. Witness for the defense. So. What do you say? Now, to hell with this! Exhibit C! No stun guns for me! Just die! Donna! Donna, don't! And here they come! My soldiers of the psychedelic sun! Obey the me! Get out! Get Rose out! I don't need to pretend, for I am the beep of all the meeps! Sergeant Zogroth. Regrets. Retirement from active duty. Ah. I was right. You are a monster. And you believed every word I said, you stupid woman, with your weird child. Oh, don't you dare. Oh, I dare. No, 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 why is there another two-hearted species on this planet? Unless I'm part of a strategy by the Roth Warriors to outfox you. And if you kill me and fail to take this family hostage, you'll never find out, will you? Hmm. Bring them! Good! Now, look, I can suggest a much better way off this planet than a double-bladed dagger drive, because that thing is gonna... <laughs> you'll die. My daughter is down there. Ignition in 180. And it's not just Rose. It's nine million people. Who cares about me? I do. Why? I'm just no one. No, you are not. Why does it have to be this? Entering final sequence. Westerly, Pelican, Dreams. I don't, I don't care what it is. All right, just, just go and do it, will you? Tornado, Cliff Tops, Andante. Get on with it! Grief, Fingerprint, Saceration, <sighs> Sparrow. <sighs> Dance. Dance. Mexico. Mexico. <laughs> Binary. Binary.
I gave away my money. Ignition in 75. Right, but... I gave away all my money. And do you know why, Doctor? I gave it away to be like you. So I could be kind, so I could be nice, so I could be helpful. I, I had a subconscious, infracutaneous, retrofold memory loop making me act as soft as you and give away 166 million pounds. Yes, Donna, but destruction of London? Oh, I'll show you destruction, mate. I will triple drive the Particle Manifesto, overstep the umbilical feed, vindicate the cyber line, and roast the hyperphase like this! Maximize the stress on links! Channel up the booster drive! Inculcate the plexiglass! And shut and fry the positrons! Hey! Yes! How long have I got to live? 55 seconds. Fifty-five seconds of my life. Because I get to do this. Donna Novo is descending. One tiny little trip. That is a promise. It's like the old days. Just me and the doctor. Together. Is that alright? Yeah, of course it is. A lot of husbands would worry. <laughs> you know, me, in a box, with another man. Yeah, but not him. <laughs> Come on, space man. Be a reason? Your life? <laughs> yes! Well, I'm stuck with it now. Oh, this thing is brilliant! Even got a coffee machine! You want one? You're kidding. With cold milk, yeah? Well remembered. Thank you very much. Careful! That's how I lost my job. Dropped coffee in the computer. I really do remember that. Every second with you. I'm so glad you're back because it killed me, Donna. It killed me, it killed me, it killed me. We can have more days, can't we? I mean, why is it such a big goodbye with you? Why is it one last trip? Because you could visit with my family. We could do outrageous things like have tea, dinner, and a laugh. And Rose's school play. Well, maybe not that. She can't act. She's terrible. I don't know how to tell her. But the point is, you've been given a second chance. You can do things different this time. So why don't you do something completely new and have some friends? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Like now, here we are, having a coffee. What's gonna go wrong? Oh my god, I'm the action!
Find time and space! Just think they have a kitchen in this place. Do they have food? My arms are too long. Yeah. Wow. I skipped dinner last night because of you and the meat. Oh, we get hungry, don't we? Strange, the system should be swimming right now. Those rectangles, did you move all of them up? My arms are too long. Mm, it is a bit fiddly. Could you pop back and finish it? My arms are too long. OK. You all right? My arms are too long. Look. It's okay, I'm here. I've got you. Whatever this is, we can... Are you Donna? Donna! Donna! Are you there? How are you? I don't know why, but the arms are so very difficult. The notion of shape is strange. It limits. It is limited. OK, whatever shape you want to take, that's fine. You can do whatever you want. I just want to say, it's very nice to meet you. I'm the doctor. This is Donna. That's how we go. Do you can just get those bodies to calm down. We can talk. That'll be nice, don't you think? They're looking at us like food. Food is interesting. Because once I sort out the arms, Then I have a problem with the jaw. It's the knees. How many knees? Two. Two in total? Or two on each leg? Where did you come from? You're not part of the ship, are you? Did you come from outside? We came from the nothing. We are not things. But you... You are not nothing. All right, I think you'll find we're quite something.
vegetable given to a woman? Is this his? you being says I lost on you. What's happened? I don't know, the usual. Robots chases waterfalls. Ah, oh, okay. But what really happened? A lot. You okay? I will be. Million years. Oh, there we are, back home. You timed that to get out of awkward conversations. Where are they? Where's the family? Oh. Might be a day or two out. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Donna! Oh, my goodness, Donna! <laughs> I said so! <laughs> Wilfred Mott. Oh, now I feel better. <laughs> now nothing is wrong. <laughs> nothing in the whole wide world. Hello, me old soldier. I'll never thought I'd see you again. After all these years. Oh, Doctor, that lovely face. <laughs> It's like springtime. And Donna's got her memory back. Without dying, which I recommend. Yeah, well, I knew it. I never lost faith. I said, he won't let us down. He'll come back and save us. Save us from what? And where's the family? Where's Rose? Are they all right? Yeah, they're fine. They're safe. I've told them to bunker down. I'll keep watch. I said, you save yourselves. Why? Is there something wrong? <laughs> What's going on? It's everybody. It's everything. They're all going mad. Listen, you've got to do something, Doctor. The whole world coming to an end. I challenge you to a game.
I accept the challenge. You have no choice. I came to this universe with such delight. And I played them all, Doctor. I toyed with supernovas, turned galaxies into spin tops. I gambled with God and made him a jack-in-the-box. I made a jigsaw out of your history. Did you like him? The master was dying and begged for his life with one final game. And when he lost, I sealed him for all eternity inside my gold tooth. There's only one player I didn't dare face. The one who waits. Who's that? I saw it, hiding, and I ran. What do you mean? <laughs> That's someone else's game. What shall we play? One request, tell me. The human race, back in the future, why does everyone think they're right? So that they win. I made every opinion supreme. That's the game of the 21st century. They shout, and they type, and they cancel. So I fixed it. Now everybody wins. And everyone loses. The never-ending game. Now name your challenge. The simplest game of all. That's cut. Highest card wins. Ace is high. You choose. I'll go first. But he'll cheat. No. Shame. That's the one thing he won't do. But they're his cards. It's all tricks. Of course he'll cheat. The only rules the Toymaker follows are the rules of the game. They bind his entire existence. I win or I lose, and that's it. Then play. My turn. I'm the king. And now, my kleine doctor, we will see what is my prize. One. All. I won the game. Many years ago, you won today, which leaves us equal. And you know, two players are bound by one inviolable rule. Best of three. Best of three. Then let's make it 2023. Donna! I'm already running! I'm in no hurry to leave this place. <laughs> we can play Grandma's footsteps. And off ground touch. Stop, 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 stop! Shooting ducks. Who's next? Is he companion? Is a soldier? Is he scientist? Is it orphan? Your fight is with me! And you owe me! One more game! I played the first game with one doctor. I played the second game with this doctor. Therefore, your own rules have decreed I play the third game with the next doctor. He's not dying alone. You can do what you like to me. I'm going to be with him. So am I. Handmaidens. It's okay. It's not dying. I know. But you're gonna be someone else. It doesn't matter who. Because every single one of you is fantastic. It's time.
could you pull? Could I what? Can you? What do you mean? Pull. 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 Just pull oh, each way. I don't know. It feels different this time. Ow! Oh. Oh. Sorry, but uh, how did that happen? By generation. <laughs> I have by generated. <laughs> There's no such thing. By generation is supposed to be a myth, but. <sighs> Look at me. Yeah, myth, 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 Mel. What do you think? I think you're beautiful. <laughs> Still beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Do you come in a range of colors? Yes. yes. <laughs> if I can interrupt, behold the game of the Time Lords. A dummy who dies and doubles and dies and doubles. I could play this for a hundred years. I'll have vast meadows of doctors dying over and over again. And I'll never get bored because I, I challenge you to a game. Do you mean... He flies off. Well, I could never let the TARDIS go. Never. It would hurt. Yeah, but... My generation has never happened before. What if? What's it? Oh. <laughs> what if the toy maker's domain is still lingering? Just for a few seconds while we're in a state of play. Oh, so maybe... Hey, watch this, watch this. Watch, 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 watch. Stand back, stand back. Go on, that's it, go on now. Oh! Wish me luck. What for? We won the game. You get a prize, honey. Here is mine! is completely nuts. <laughs> oh, look! Oh, that's not bad. Wheelchair accessible. At last! You finally caught up with the 21st century! Yeah. do that. Come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, look after me, no? 
Now, you two, if you don't mind, there is a great big universe out there, Colin, and I've got to get going. So off you pop, old man. Oh, you're the old man. You're older than me. <laughs> Actually, that is true. He's younger because you came after him, so you're the older doctor. Okay, kid. I love you. Get out. Oh, I'm not doing that again. See it off myself. Stand by. Where's he going? Everywhere. Good luck. Don't forget to click below to subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel.